let's talk about what's going on your channel. One person you, you always kind of review, react to is Jake Paul. And mm -hmm. I remember there's two main people on Twitter that kind of report on fights. You might have heard them, they're quite big in the boxing world. Mike Hoppinger, mm -hmm. Michael Benson. And they mm -hmm. both, also like day before it was announced, that he'll be fighting Tyron Woodley. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed with fighting Tyron Woodley because that's the kind of 50 50 matchup the public are kind of split on. What do you I agree. What do you I agree. I, I, think he's, I think he's, this is a big it's fight for this, this is a huge fight. And you got to give credit where it's due, man. Jake's putting literally everything on the line. Big boy balls on the table. Like, he's sacking up. I mean, excuse my language, but he absolutely is. He's coming into this thing. And, and again, Tyron Woodley is not a pushover. He's not necessarily the greatest boxer in the world, but he is a dangerous striker, right? He is a dangerous right hand. Uh, so, yeah, I, I give Jake all the credit in the world. I gave Jake all the credit in the world for beating Ben Asker, and I kind of had to after I picked Ben. Um, but, yeah, no, I think Jake is, is doing exactly what he should be doing. For everybody that, that says, oh, he should be fighting a, a you know, a Canelo, you know, Canelo style boxer or the Canelo level boxer. That's crazy. But um, the progression naturally is going to lead him to bigger boxer. Should he win? And obviously the Tommy Fury fight is something that's been thrown out there. So I got to give Jake all the credit, man. I might not like the guy. And as a matter of fact, no, I don't like the guy, but it doesn't matter when it comes to what he's doing in the ring and how he's progressing all the credit in the world. I mean, it is quite impressive. Uh, Tyron Woodley, I know he's 40 years old, but he's still one of the most dominant Welsh weight champions. And crack. You can absolutely crack, man. Um, yeah, so while I was listening to what Joe Rogan was kind of having to say about it, and he was saying that kind of the difference between MMA striking was Jake Paul, now his sparring partner is actually fighting Tommy Fury. Mm -hmm. MMA fighters, they kind of box a little bit, little bit different because yeah. a fake could take down and then throw the overhand right. Mm -hmm. How... Um, I think that's how much Tyron Woodley might have beaten. That's how George St. Pierre, St. Pierre beat Michael Bisping, did that same thing. Or they might fake yeah. a leg kick for it and then do the boxing after that. They have to mm -hmm. back off the boxing, you know. But this time, they'll just have to, it was all boxing. You can't do anything. It's not kickboxing. It's not wrestling. It's all boxing. So who do you have coming out on top in this fight then, Wade? Oh, wow. You put me on the spot, huh? Uh, early on. You can also change it. You can always say this. I'll say this. There is a very good likelihood that people are once again surprised by Jake Paul. I will say that here and now. As far as my pick is concerned, I will give you that on what's today, the ninth. I will give you that on the 27th. But I will say, do not be surprised if Jake Paul does exactly what you're talking about, Fred. When he comes out, he is a boxer. He is only trained in one martial art, right? And that is not even really a martial art, Western boxing, right? He has been specifically training this with BJ Flores for the last three plus years. Tyron Woodley, on the other hand, has trained multiple disciplines, but never been succinctly great in boxing range. Go look at the Roy McDonald fight way back in the day. Go look at the Stephen Wonderboy Thompson fight where Tyron had success, like you said, was off a big flurry forward, right? The Tyron, the Tyron Woodley furies are, are, are flurries are the, the catalyst of him knocking fools dead or him off the back foot and exchanging the right hand. It's never been his strength to sit there in boxing range and throw combinations and slip off the center and get guys down, right? It's never been the way he's fought. So it's going to be interesting when you take away a lot of the tools that have made him successful, the threat of the takedown, the ability to flurry forward where guys are worried about, is he going to take me down? Is he going to try to leg kick me? What's he going to do while he's running at me? While Jake is, has seen that. He's seen it with Nate Robinson. He saw Gibb try to, you know, crab walk his way into range. He's seen Ben chase him around the ring. He knows that guys are going to come forward on him and he can fight backward. So, and, and again, this isn't discounting that Tyron Woodley has an ability to knock fools dead and people, and people forget about Tyron Woodley's left hand. His right hand is big and it's massive, but he's put fools down with his left too. So close fight. Do not be surprised if Jake Paul shocks the world again. I mean, that Nate, I know no one really gave him much credit on the Nate Robinson, but he not him coming out. I mean, Nate Rummerson, he just sprinted forward the whole time in his hands. It's tough to deal with. Like, yes, it, Jake should have knocked him out. Nate Robinson should have never been anywhere near a boxing ring, should never even try to spell the word boxing. Like, no. But I will say, and there's there's something to be said for guys that are worse than, than you logically think a boxer should be. It's tough to deal with because it's not normal. You're not used to the way they move. You're not used to someone just sprinting at you with their head down and just – running into the floor continuously it throws your timing off it throws your rhythm off the distance isn't the same so yeah jake jake handled it like a pro and nate got dropped three or four times in that fight so yeah 
I mean, sometimes I've always found in boxing as well, sometimes the awkward fighters and more tricky fighters, they knock him out on the back foot, whilst quite impressive. 